Welcome back inside the studio. I'm Nick Max and the Huskies winning big over the Miami Red Hawks by a final score of 8 to nothing. Let's get you caught up with all the action in this sweep of the Red Hawks as we get caught up with the highlights here. Huskies looking to grab three more points crucial in the NCHC standings as the Huskies again trying to look for back to back wins. Vidi Mietan getting the offense started early. His sixth of the season on the power play one nothing Huskies in the first period. Not once, but hey, let's do it twice. Vidi getting the second of the hockey game, seventh of the season, and it's a 2 nothing lead now for the Huskies. Kevin Fitzgerald, who's been the Huskies' leading scorer, finishes off a pretty tic-tac-toe play. 3 nothing Huskies in the first period. Moving on into the middle frame, Easton Brodzinski on a penalty shot will walk in and wire one over the shoulder of Love Big Pearson, his 11th on the season, and it's now 4 nothing St. Cloud State. Josh Litke will add one for himself, his second on the season, one on shorthanded, his third shorthanded goal of the weekend for the team. It's now 5 nothing Huskies. Sam Hentges again, who's been rock solid for the Huskies since coming back into the lineup, will weave his tech handle through a telephone booth and what one past the pad of Pearson. Again, the Huskies kill it on the power play, 6 0 for the Huskies. In the third, Mike DeMiller is the recipient off a beautiful feed from Jack Burt to make it 7 0. Fitzgerald adds his second of the game, 11th of the season for him. And David Rennick gets his second shutout of the season, and it's an 8 0 win for the Huskies. Statistics in this one, again, shots and goal. 42 to 14 in favor of the Huskies. Five penalties for the Huskies, but they add two of three on the power play, including a shorthanded marker and a big advantage in the faceoff dot, 35 to 19. Our next broadcast here from Husky Productions will be on Friday, February 11th, as the Huskies will welcome Western Michigan to take on the Broncos at 7:30.